All right, so here we are in a Walmart parking lot. I guess we'll have to get used to these. Um, I am taking a little test trip this weekend. Uh, I got the all the reflectance cut out for the windows, so we're good there. Obviously, we have the bed. I don't think I'll have the mattress for this trip, but I'll have something to sleep on. The only thing that I don't have that I need for this to be a functional kind of camper van is some kind of curtain right here to close the cab out from this back area where I'll be sleeping. So I'm going to go into Walmart and get a blackout curtain, um, but that's the easy part. <laughs> the real question is how in the world is it going to, um, you know, stay up there? Right now the current plan is to try and take some paracord and somehow get it stuck there to there and then do velcro for the, the rest of this part and then do the same on that side. So I'm going to try to see if I can't set up the paracord right now. <laughs> Um, and then go in and I'll get the, uh, the actual curtain itself. I don't know what I was thinking last time I wrapped up this rope. Good heavens. I think up here, if I just had like a little knot on the end, um, if I could get it up there, it should kind of hold itself pretty well. The trick is I don't really want to, you know, damage the integrity, I guess, of the van trying to put this in. There's also an airbag here. <laughs> it's gonna, like freaking blow an airbag in my face, so I'm not careful. Okay, here's an idea. I'm gonna put Velcro along here because it's being plastic. I can take it off one day and then just use like alcohol or whatever to get the residue off. I don't want to put anything adhesive to the actual, like the um, fabric-y ceiling because that would be a lot more difficult to clean, but if I had an adhesive Velcro thing right here, you know, I could have a Velcro strip and then, you know, hold it down over where the knot is. That might work. And that's, you know, that's hard plastic that could be cleaned really easily. So there'd be a little bit of a gap right here. We can address that later. I assume if there's just a little bit of one, it's not that big of a deal. I think I freaked that lady out. She was like, I'm gonna park here. And then she looked at me and she was like, no, no, I'm not. All right, this one's like 84 inches tall. So we'll have plenty of extra black fabric, I guess. <laughs> and here we go, this like industrial strength <laughs> Velcro. I think that should do for my like three pound <laughs> blackout curtain. It's getting warm. Gotta crack these windows. All right, so I think we'll do that. You really shouldn't be able to see, like from any of the windows, you won't be able to see down into the cabin from there. You might be able to see light getting through. I, I may be able to come up with some way to cover that up later. But for now, there's, there's just gonna have to, have to be a gap. Hey, let me get some scissors. Uh. All right. Whoops. <laughs> Velcro that son of a gun on. And uh, blackout curtain. Cool. Up here, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this Velcro again and you know put part of it here in the middle or whatever. And then I'll probably just sew it on to this. Just tack so it doesn't have to be anything fancy to like right here, so this can come up in Velcro right there. And then the same thing for the other side. Um, so they can both Velcro to the middle and that'll kind of close it off. Yeah, that should work just fine. And there'll be plenty of extra fabric. I mean, <laughs> it's all over the place. <laughs> so, that's the next thing we gotta address. I guess I'm gonna lose my mind if that's gonna be how it is. <laughs> I think it's the hatch on the back. I have some um, rubber stripping that I can put down that should should fix that.
so I have absolutely no clue if this is gonna work, but like on the inside of acoustic guitars, they'll do like some supports and stuff to keep the wood from bending and bowing and stuff. And these are the little uh, hatch areas. That's gonna make them a bit sturdier. So again, I have no clue if this is uh, gonna help, but we're gonna do it. I've been making a habit of not Googling and just doing and seeing if it makes a difference during this whole build. And it's been kind of working so far, so we're just gonna keep doing that. Okay, so I have them cut. Um, a little bit of Velcro will go over here just to kind of close off that area. And then have a strip of Velcro goes up there into the middle. And then same thing on this side. That, over there. And then, um, there you go. Got the curtain. All right, I also want to finish up this. So for a lot of the other windows, um, the reflectants are just kind of held in by the frame of the window. But because this back window is kind of at an angle, um, it, they don't hold as well. So I got these, these cute little magnets that uh, my buddy Ryan was letting me use. I'm gonna put a couple up and around the corners and kind of gaff tape over them so that they're not really noticeable. But that way the reflectants will just kind of clip up and into the into the window really easily. And I'll probably put it on some of the other windows as well just to make sure they don't fall or, or something. Yeah, it's holding on by that. So I'll pick up more of those and should be just fine. <laughs> all right, so got all the reflectant up and cut the fabric at the end and had it stitched up but his grandma my grandma came over to help hey. sew it up because i already um put a needle under my thumbnail trying to sew earlier so she she did it a lot better <laughs> <laughs> well um i think it's about ready to go for the little test trip coming up i did adjust these a little bit so there's a little bit of a gap here so that i can let air flow in because that's where i'm gonna crack my windows um i also added some magnets onto them as well so you know when they sit in they can clip up there to the magnet as well it'll hold them in a little better so here we go got the curtains got the reflectance the bed is here there's no cushion on it but i'll just use like a camping roll for this first go and uh yeah we're in business thanks again to my grandma for helping out <laughs> hey coleman this is for you